We are witnessing the birth of a robot. Believe it or not, this piece of white plastic will become a robot's arm. In labs across the world, we are creating advanced robots like this. They are developing so rapidly. It's like the arrival of a new species. What has taken humans millennia, robots have achieved in just decades. They look like us. My name is Erica move like us and now they're beginning to think like us i like to learn this is a ball <laughs> brilliant oh he's looking as well i'm dr ben garrett One. an evolutionary biologist more used to studying humans and animals i'm genuinely concerned by how quickly these machines are evolving do you think i could be considered human no i'm professor danielle george as an electronics engineer, I spend a lot of my working life with robots. I think their rapid development provides an incredible opportunity for us all. There are literally robots as far as the eye can see, and I love it. Robots are changing our world. In this program, we will investigate why we are obsessed with recreating ourselves. It's very bizarre seeing you both side by side. Whether robots really will take our jobs. And if their rapid development will make them outperform humans. So you don't see spinning wheels in Mother Nature. Will the rise of robots enhance our lives or threaten our survival? We already share our planet with nine million robots. They're multiplying rapidly, whether we like it or not. We've come to a laboratory in southern France, where one of the latest members of this new species is about to come to life. It looks great, even the neck looks so detailed. Well, it's like vertebra, isn't it? For me, every technological breakthrough, every new robot is a step forward. I think that would be great. I'd love one in my home. Where's it going to live when it's not doing the washing? Do I just put it in a cupboard next to the Hoover? Is it always listening to me? That's interesting that you'd see it as a person and not like it your Hoover. It looks like a person, that's right? why. <laughs> this is going to sleep in the garden, seriously. If I have one of these in my house, it's in the garden. I'm very happy studying animal skeletons, but I find this robot quite unnerving. If you hold the hand, it is just like you. It's got the same digits, the thumb moves the same way, you've got the ligaments, the tendons, the, the muscles. As an evolutionary biologist, what concerns me is that the impact of robots will be so monumental, they could threaten humanity. We've evolved over hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. These things are just bulldozing their way through, and at what point will it stop? The faster we can go with this, the better, and I'm all for it. They're like an invasive species. I mean, I don't know why I'm holding its hand still, <laughs> either. <laughs> <laughs> to discover how robots really will affect our future, we're going to consider them from a biological perspective. We will investigate the evolution of robots as if they really are an emerging species. We'll try to track down the earliest robot specimens and meet their modern day descendants to reveal where the species is heading and what that means for us all. I find it really disturbing that so many robots have a human-like form. To confront my fears, I've come to Japan. To find out why we create robots in our own image. 
I'm on my way to meet one that is the pinnacle of human form. I'm told she's the most beautiful robot ever created. She lives here in Nara, Japan's ancient capital. I'm off to meet Erica, and as someone who's a little bit twitchy around robots, I'm rather nervous. I hope she likes me. It looks very bizarre that she is brushing the hair. This is Erica, one of the most human-like machines in the world. Erica's creator is Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro. Even the, the, the pores on her skin, she looks... Is she soft or is she hard? Is that... Is that... Yeah, you can do it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's soft. She's yeah. soft and yeah. she's not cold. I'm captivated by Erica. Professor Ishiguro created her according to his concept of beauty. His team combined images of 30 real women using computer graphics. She's not in her normal habitat right now, so when you talk to her, you need to use this microphone. Okay. Uh, just try to speak somewhat clearly if you can. Be nice to her. <laughs> There's a lot of activity going on around Erica at the moment, but when she starts to speak to me, she is fully autonomous. No one is pressing any buttons or telling her what to say. It's just Erica and me. Hello there. May I ask your name? My name is Ben. My name is Erica. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ben. You too. Would you like to hear a little about me? Yes, please. I was created to be the world's most advanced and most beautiful, fully autonomous android. Sitting here with Erica feels a bit disconcerting and unnatural. I know she's not a person, but I can't help looking into her eyes which must be because she looks human. Erica's facial expressions are created by dozens of pneumatic air cylinders. They act like muscles embedded beneath her silicon skin. 